see. All right, good so. stuff. So we're going to show you some some stretches that you can do. This is some simple Pilates, whether you're going to be running or if you just want to try Pilates at home. So what do we do first? Right. Yes. So we're going to do some exercises today that are going to help you get Use better it. if you are a runner. This I told gonna... Rico, by the way, to show Liz mostly. <laughs> all right, go ahead, go ahead. So we're going to I'll take it all the way down again. Let's do two okay. more times of that. Just nice. Inhale, breathe up. I did and not mean to match Liz, down. by the way, today. <laughs> One more time. Words. Four pounds. Good. Just soften your knees a little bit, and you're going to get that nice stretch for your legs and your back as you come back up again. Now your heart's pounding a little bit. We're going to take it back down and go on to a different exercise once we're done. Okay. So we're going to get that stretch on the way down, and this one we're going to take to a plank position after we walk out the four counts. And we're going to do some one leg kicks. We'll bring it down under our forearms. So this your plank is so good, even when you're watching TV, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's great for building your core muscles, your abs. We're going to just do some single leg kicks. This is going to stretch the front of your legs. You're working your abs, you're working your glutes, and you're increasing, increasing your flexibility. So these are really easy and fun to do at home. I do them all the time. I don't know about the easy part, but okay. <laughs> Let's just do two more. And good. And then go ahead and set it back down again. And we're just going to finish up with a little bit of a spine twist. Because you know when you run, you're rotating your spine a lot. You need to be able to have some mobility through some rotation. So we'll just real quick sit down on our mats here with our legs out.